Hello. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Come and join us fully when you can. Hey, Moonlight. Good to see you. Hey, Simone. So I was just letting everyone know, so if you've just joined, um, oh, let's just let a couple more people in before I say that. So the first activity we're gonna be doing just involves writing something down. So whether you have a notepad or a journal in front of you, it can be physical, it can be digital, whichever you prefer. We're just gonna spend a few moments with our first activity, just called a, a brain dump or a mind dump. So it's an activity which I find incredibly helpful, particularly at the beginning of the week to clear my mind, but I'll introduce it properly in just a minute once we get going. We'll, we'll begin in just a couple of minutes. Welcome everyone joining. Hello guys. So pop down in the chat box. Let us know how you're doing. Is this your first session? Maybe also let me know why you're here. What's motivated you to come along to a session to help you plan the week? Everyone say hi in the chat box. Okay, so I just want to firstly, before we get going fully, just introduce myself. So if anyone hasn't met me, my name is Sol. I am the community manager here at StudyStream, which Kind of means one of the main jobs that I have involves running these events, these, these sessions for you guys. And we created a few weeks ago sessions called the Study Stream Method, which are our guided study sessions. So people come together to work alongside each other, take breaks together, be accountable, and help each other motivate, uh, motivate each other to stay focused and attentive. Let me just invite a few more people in. And so what these sessions are, the Monday plan the week session and the Friday review the week session is to help support the work that we do in those guided study sessions. Yeah. So it's to help us plan the week and review the week, obviously, according to some really helpful research that we've spent a lot of time investigating and putting together these sessions that we think bring the most bang for your buck. So they only take about 30, 40 minutes to run through, but the planning and the reviewing that we get done that help us to really make the best use of our time during the week and help us to pivot. So to make any improvements to our approach as we go week on week. So it helps us to remember not just like what tasks we wanna get done here and now, but also what are the larger goals on a longer time scale, like a week or maybe even a month or a year, and the vision, like who, who are we looking to become? Where do we want to get to? And allowing those things to drive us forward, to motivate us and keep us heading in the right direction. So that's how these sessions work. A heads up about what we're going to be doing in this session today. So we're going to begin with an activity called a mind dump or a brain dump. It has a number of different uh, names. So all you need is that journal or notepad that I mentioned earlier. That can be physical or digital, whichever you prefer using. We're then going to move into answering a few questions that I have that I think are the key questions that we need to answer to most effectively plan our week. So we're going to spend a little bit of time doing that. And then we're actually going to get into breakout rooms again, just like we did in last week's review of the week. So we're going to get into smaller groups. Don't worry if you're feeling a little bit shy or uncomfortable at the prospect of that. If you don't want to put your webcam on, that's OK. If you don't feel like you want to speak, that's OK. You can use the chat box. Uh, it would be really lovely if, if many of us felt able to do those things, to be more interactive and get to know each other along the way as well. But whatever is going to work for you best. And then we're going to come back together again as a group and just have the opportunity to share maybe what came up in our breakout rooms or what we've written down in our plan the week forms. OK, that's what that's how we're going to run this session. So let's begin. The brain dump or the mind dump is really our opportunity to put down on paper 
all the various thoughts that are running through our heads. So the idea being, and what the research shows is that our brains are really good for having ideas, but not for holding onto them. And the more ideas that we hold on to, the kind of less space there is for us to process and move forward and be productive because there's just a lot going on. So it's a very simple technique where we're just going to take a few minutes and just write down everything that's on our minds, everything we think we might need to get done or something that we remembered from last week that we didn't take action on. And we're just going to stick it all down on paper. And you're welcome to write that just in free flowing form handwriting. Or you can write it down as a as a list bullet points. Or if you're feeling a bit more creative, you're welcome to doodle or sketch or write uh, draw pictures. Whatever for you is going to be the best way to get what's in your head out into the uh, onto your desk, onto your um, onto your device, or into your notebook. So it's going to help us declutter our minds. Um, it's going to help us therefore reduce some stress, hopefully, and some anxiety because then we know that it's on paper, and once we're aware of it, we can take action on it. It's also going to help us to focus because then we're going to be able throughout the week to run through that list and get those things done. We're not going to have to every time think, oh, what should I do next? Or where does this fit in? Have I forgotten anything? We're going to have written it all down. And then it's also going to free us up of some mental energy through doing that. And it's hopefully also going to help some motivation because as we become more productive, as we get more done, as we work our way through our list, we're going to feel more motivated as we go. So all kinds of really wonderful reasons to do this. So we're going to move into this practice. I'm going to time us for five minutes. And as I said, I'd like you to just take that time to just note down everything that's on your mind. And if you're not sure where to start, that's OK. You can start whatever first pops into your mind. But I'm going to put in the chat box some helpful questions that might be as useful prompts for you to begin. So example questions are what do you keep forgetting to do? What tasks never seem to get done? Are there any upcoming special events or occasions you need to keep in mind? Are there, is there someone um, who you've been meaning to contact for a while? Uh, is there anything you've been putting off that you really need to take action on? These kinds of questions, okay? I'll put them in the chat box. But you don't need to use them if you just want to start spilling out onto your, from straight from your mind into your notepad, okay? So I'm going to mute myself. I'll see you back here in five minutes' time. And let's just pour everything that we have out of our heads into our notebooks. All right, guys, enjoy. I'll see you in five minutes.
Okay, guys, maybe another 10 seconds or so. Don't worry if it feels like there are still a few things in your mind. You can come back to it later. Okay, so as explained, that hopefully has got a whole load of stuff that maybe you had on your mind, maybe you had forgotten was even in your mind. So it's a really helpful way to recall all the tasks that maybe we had forgotten about, as well as just get down on paper the things that we know we need to do. But now it's going to be much more easier to navigate the week. Next, we're going to use, move on to the main structure of the plan the week section. I ask uh, five pivotal questions to help us to do that. And I've created a Padlet for the session, which I'll post now. There you go. So all you need to do is click on the link, open it up. And all we need to do is copy the text that is in the right-hand side Padlet there. You just highlight the text, press a Control and C on your keyboard, that will copy the text, and then open up your own and paste it into your own Padlet. Then you can go about answering the questions and planning your week. So I'm going to go on to mute again. If you need to reach out to me, you can in the chat box. But just spend the next few minutes just answering those questions about vision and goals, tasks, what else you want to make time for this week, as well as writing down when you're going to do the tasks. Yeah. So that kind of scheduling, that actual time, time blocking, we sometimes call it, is incredibly helpful productivity method to help us get things done as well. So as just again, you just copy and paste that text into the bottom half of your own Padlet, which you create using the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner. And just spend some time filling that out. You've got about eight minutes or so, eight, ten minutes. So enjoy. I'll see you then.
So we've got about two more minutes, guys, two more minutes. So you're very welcome to choose whether to go deeper into just some of the questions or if you want to try and get a good spread across all of them, if you're not quite going to finish. You've got a couple of minutes still to go. Okay, so it's time to hit the update button and submit your Padlet. Of course, don't worry if you're not finished. What I'd recommend you do anyway is save this link somewhere on your computer. Maybe put it in your bookmarks bar and it's gonna be really helpful to come back to you throughout the week anyway. I recommend checking in with it daily. And of course, if at the end of this session you haven't completed it, you can pop back on and you can get it done. It's gonna, it's gonna be an evolving document. You can update it as you go. So hopefully that first mind dump help to get all the thoughts out of your head onto your device or into your journal. And then we could start to form and organize and make sense of it by putting it into our Padlet, uh, setting goals and tasks and figuring out when we're gonna work on these things. So the next thing to do is to pop into a breakout room and just have the opportunity to just share really briefly with the other people in the room with you. Just work them through your Padlet. Just talk them through what you wrote down and why and Sometimes just speaking something out loud can really help us to clarify and organize our thoughts and feelings around them. And you never know, you might also get some feedback from someone who um, is doing something similar or has tried something you're doing and can give you some advice. And it's a really good opportunity to make connections with other people as well. So you can get some accountability and support and maybe even some advice along the way. So as I said, no pressure to put your webcam on and speak. If that doesn't feel comfortable, you can use the chat box. But Maybe it's an opportunity to experiment with both those things if you're usually a little bit shy. We're only going to do this for about six or seven minutes or so. So just make sure you just every minute or two, just go around from one person to the next and just get going pretty quick. So I'm just going to create these rooms. They're created at random. All you need to do now is accept that invitation and I will bring you back out again in about six, seven minutes. Okay, guys, go have a nice chat with people.
Okay, guys, you're going to have another minute or two left, and then I'm going to bring you back. Keep on chatting. If anyone hasn't yet had the opportunity to speak, now is the time. I'll bring you back in a couple of minutes. Hello guys, good to have you back. Everyone else will be joining us in a, in a minute or so. How, how was that? How you doing? You are the first one, that's all right. Everyone will come back in a moment. Go. Here they all are. Welcome back guys. Hello, hello, we've just got the, the last group still to come. Awesome. Hey guys. Great, great. So everyone, we have just a couple of minutes at the end there, at the end now, to just share anything in this group, anything that came up that you found really interesting that either you shared or someone else or something that you're gonna take forward, some kind of intention this week, or just how the experience was of, of meeting the guys in your breakout room, that's really welcome as well. So you can use the chat box, or if you fancy speaking, that would be awesome. Just raise your virtual hand and you'll be able to unmute and we can hear from you. So how was it? What did you learn? What are you taking forward this week? Who's gonna kick things off? Oh, thanks, Elisa. Amazing. It's Moonlight's birthday. Cool. Thank you for telling us. Happy birthday. Amazing. I hope you have an awesome day. That's really cool. Thank you for joining us on your birthday. That's great. That's great. Let's see what else people are saying. Kessa, I think those in my room are so cool. Ah, nice. Great. I'm really happy you had that experience. Cool. Nice. Lots of happy birthday messages. That's amazing. Oh, and you have a test tomorrow as well. Okay. Well, again, thank you for joining us and good luck. I'm sure you do great. I'm sure you do great. What else, guys? What else? What else came up in your groups? Or how are you feeling about the week ahead, having planned things out? Did, did planning help? Is it a different process to what you usually do? How do you think it's going to be useful? Kessa, yeah, go for it. You can unmute. Hi, oh, yeah, thank you. Um, hi, everyone. Um, so I this is my first time ever planning my week. So at the end of the week, I will hopefully get back to you with the feedback and let you know how it goes and how this has helped me. But I think it was really good. I really needed that mind dump. Um, I've not been feeling so great. It's been a very bad day for me, I'd say. I really enjoyed my math class, but I didn't concentrate because somebody said something to me and I was like, okay, it just threw me off completely. So that was really a bad experience, especially to someone I really love who told me that. So it really hurt, but I guess right now, um, this has really helped because I got it out of my mind. 
And I guess I can get back to now watching another 12 video about my math class. So that's going to be fun um, for, for everyone involved. Um, yeah, I guess that was it. But I will let you know on Friday how my week has gone by this process of planning my week and getting my vision and my focus, whatever. I don't know how to frame that. But yeah, that's it. I would say, yeah, I'll let you guys know. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah, thank you so much for being the first to speak. Sorry you had a little bit of a tricky situation earlier. I'm sorry, but thank you for joining us. And that's so cool. This is your first time planning your week. That That's really cool that you did that with us. And really happy to hear the mind dump helped because it's something I've done myself for a really long time. And then as I was planning the session, I thought, ah, this would be really, really cool to introduce to the group. So yeah, thank you. Coco, you're up next. Uh, hi. Uh, so basically, you know, uh, like whenever I write the padlets in the study stream method session, I always feel like what else I can do, like, you know, thinking about the most more productive things. But, you know, today, while I was doing the brain dump thing, at that time, I realized like I have done a lot of things. And like, I should celebrate my little wins of the day. So yeah, and today I'm a bit sick. So it wasn't a very perfect day for me today, but yeah, like it's very, uh, I'm going to, you know, show up. So proud of that, of myself. And uh, I have done brain dump also. So yeah, I written everything, whatever was going on in my mind and whatever I achieved today. And in this planning, planning the week session uh, here, like, <laughs> I have been repeating my things, you know, like I have found myself repeating again and again the same things like my parents are coming and I have my job, you know, these two things are coming and going, coming and going in every point. So I don't think that this is going to be most productive week, according to me, because these two things are very important, which are going to happen in this week. So yeah, like, one is like in this week and another is in the, the day, uh, I mean, in the next week. So hoping for things to get better and also praying for my health to get better because health is wealth. So, yeah, like we have to take care of our health. That is all what I can, what I want to say. And uh, like today I talked like two, two different souls here uh, in breakout room. And that was a very good experience. I must say thank you. Thank you, Coco. Thank you for sharing. And really cool to hear that you could appreciate how much you do get done, you know, that opportunity to have the mind dump and notice actually I do a lot. And that's really cool to have appreciation for yourself. And and yeah, hopefully though that um anticipating the, the week that you have ahead. Sounds like you have a lot on. Hopefully that's going to just be help, helpful for you to manage what comes up next. Just, just taking a moment to know that that's happening hopefully will be helpful. So thank you. And Lisa says, I also repeat a lot of tasks. I uh, love routine and doing the same things. I love every week, like reading and doing yoga. Cool. Yeah, nice one. I love both of those things too. Really cool. Nice one, guys. Well, we're kind of coming towards the end of the session.